some player introductions. Now there's the starting lineup for Korea. We'll get to all the key players in just a moment. Korea back at these World Championships for the first time in eight years. They missed out in 2014 for the first time since 1970. They'll be led out by their captain, Yong Ko and Kim. What a moment for the number five, Hai Yo Lee, who's playing for the first time at the World Championships at the age of 38. She'll come out starting with the number five. Number 10, Yong Ko and Kim is the captain. And one of their star players, the number 11, is Su Ji Kim, playing for the first time at the World Championships at 31. And number 13, Jiong Ga Park, 139 international caps coming into this tournament. But this is her first World Championships. And number 14 is Hai Yo Jin Yang, who has experience at multiple World Championships and Olympic Games. And number 17, Jai Yong Lee who has a remarkable 97 international caps coming into this tournament at just 21 years of age. And the lead player at number seven, Hei Ran Kim, the third most capped player on this Korean roster. That's Japan, who are led by Cha Hai Wan as her coach. A look at the Thai starting six. The Libero will get a look at their starters individually now. Tap down Nguyen Jan is the number four, because spike that block reaches on the whole roster. The number five is the captain, Priyam Jitikau, the oldest and most capped player. The number six is uh, Onoma City Rap, the second biggest sky, spike reach. The number 13, Nuk Sara Tomkom. Number 16, Pimpi Jaya Kokram. And number 18, Ai Charaporn Kongyot. Danai Sri Wachimai Takul is the head coach. And all the players now out on court and ready to get this tournament up and running. Here we go then, two-time bronze medalist Korea. Back at the World Championships for the first time in eight years. Set to face a two time Asian champion Thailand competing at these championships for just the fifth ever time. It's the 12th appearance for Korea. They finished 13th on their last two appearances, having not finished outside the top 10 on each of their first nine. So they'll be desperate to get back into that top 10 at the very least and perhaps to even try and push to go on to the final six. Only Japan and China have played at these championships more often than Korea. Although the two bronze medals, they won a long, long time ago, 1967 and 1974. They haven't made the podium since. Start with the serve with Hai Yo Hee Lee, the 38 year old finally playing at a world championships for the first time. 65 international caps coming in. This her first in this tournament. Her set to the far side, and it leads to the first point off the big hit of the captain, Yong Kong Kim. She'll be their star, plays their club volleyball for Exachibasi Victor at Istanbul, who are club world champions in 2016. <laughs> and a big hit back from a very well supported Thai team. have travelled in numbers here to Kobe to celebrate that strike for Tantau Nguyen Jen. And the serve lands in as well, an ace for Olamat City Rack. Back to 
back-to-back -back tie points. This is going to feel very much like a road game for Korea. Thailand feeling the home comfort of these travelling supporters so far. They're keeping it alive here as well. Pass the block and in. Three in a row. Off the bat for Thailand. Great defence to keep it alive when it threatened to bounce down on their side of the court. And then the big hit right to the back corner from Pimpi Chaya Kokram. Only seven international caps for her coming into this tournament. That one loops just beyond the baseline there off the right hand of City Rack. The tie run comes to an end. Korea just looking to try and steady the ship now off this choppy start. The captain on serve to try and do so. Somehow, kept alive as it pops up off the net. They've been so quick to everything so far. That one just beyond the back corner, very nearly dropped down and in. Korea back level, not without a scare though. Yong Kawon Kim remains on serve. And a body shot to the Korean Libero. Lee Rang Kim found that too hot to handle. <laughs> Korea keeping up. Suji Kim gets her first point of these championships. <laughs> Just beyond the baseline, defense did well to get out of the way. Korea take their first lead, scoring the first point. Got from 3 1 down to get 5 4 ahead. <laughs> Nicely played on the angle from Hayo Jin Yang. Five of the last six points now for Korea. They seem to have settled. That one just wide of the sideline, so add another to their tally. Six of the last seven. The early tie energy that we saw has very quickly faded. on the three-metre line from Yong Kowon Kim. Drilled it into the body of the defence. And Korea cruising to the technical timeout now with an 8-4 lead, having trailed 3-1. Well, I said they had a great following. You look at all around this arena, plenty of Thai flags flying high. Seen a little bit of Korean 
support as well. Of course, on the far side, but they have been dwarfed by the Thai supporters in this arena so far. Before that, Korea had scored seven of the previous eight points. There's the 20 year old Pimpi Chao Cochrane. Beautifully placed across to the far side by John Gap Park. 139 international caps coming into this tournament, including experience at the Olympics. And this is our first match of the World Championships. The power enough to take it off the top of the block and away to the far side. Much better from Thailand off the back of the technical timeout with two of the three points. to serve the 23-year-old Ochao Paul Kongyot, who plays with the Thai champions, Supreme VC. A big hit again, down the pipe, off the three-metre line from beyond Koen Kim. You can see why she's their star player. She's stood higher than the rest so far. to six. We are going to have a timeout called by Thailand. ถูกมั้ยระบบระบบเราสําคัญมากเพราะฉะนั้นมั่นใจเรื่องเล่นระบบ 2 เรื่อง start from Thailand just fueled off the energy of the fans that have traveled to see them in this arena Korea took a while to steady themselves and then came back strong Thailand trying to adjust to do the same. That was certainly a strong hit. What a man, City went emphatically closing the gap. Tom Gong, the number 13, it comes right back up and down. Well, the number 13 on the other side of the floor, Jiong Gap Park. Korea by five again. Right down the line and in from Jiong Jack. Four-year-old with the biggest spike and block reaches on the Thai roster. 3.08 meters for spike, 2.96 meters for block. Lovely 
delicate prod over the defence from Young Kowok. Well, just so shot, having scored a number of big spikes up until that point. Showing she's got variety as well. Talk about the largest tie spike reach being 308 centimetres. Young Kowong's for Korea is 350 centimetres. Incredible reach. Three and a half metres, so 42 centimetres more than the tallest on the opposite side of the floor. Nikki Chai Kokra getting that point for Thailand to close the gap to four again. Safe well on the angle by the Libero. Hit from the back door into the back corner. Patra Payroy, the Libero, doing such a good job to keep it alive. Creating the chance there for her teammates to set. And a very well angled hit from City Rack. Timeout called as Thailand threatened to pull Korea back in. She has three points for Korea, so far the number 10. Leading the way though, is the number 16 for Thailand, Pimpi Chaya with four. An open goal of a hit right above the net, perfectly timed offense. Couldn't set the ball in a better place. Suji Kim accepting the gift. Big time double block for Korea. They've gone up by five again. Potential tie comeback. Has fallen off the rails. Defense suggesting getting across from centre, sewing together tight and rejecting the shot. <laughs> On the angle all the way through, and it got a touch off the defense as well. Korea into the technical timeout with a six-point lead now, 16 to 10. Jai Young Lee from the far side, the 21-year-old. Thailand with a big, big challenge now for the rest of this first set. Career have been really strong. It's not just been Yong Kowen. She's had uh, plenty of help from her teammates. She's on three points, as are Kim Soo Ji, the number 11, and uh, Jai Yong, the number 17. Combination attack on the far side of the net. Just when the coach drew up in the timeout. To the delight of the Thai fans. Prod over 
over the top of the defence into the open hole behind the front court in front of the back court. Over the top of the two blockers. Nobody covering. Substitution for Korea. Ji Young Oh coming in for Suji Kim. Let's turn away from that front side for Thailand. Really good hits. On the Korean serve to return it with interest. Drilled by Cochrane. Number 16 is a 20 year old with real talent. Well, three of them did their very best. Then they got down on the deck to try and retrieve it. And if that's the type of heart and character the Thai team display throughout this pool, then they might have a chance of making it through to stage two. side from Tim Cowley, captain stopped this time. It's a swipe right towards the baseline, may have dropped out. We'll never know. Not career to hit from the far side. Really good rally there, all the way across court, but beyond the sideline from Tim Cowley. Career up by seven after this miss hit. Put off by the blocker at the net. And their coach calling a timeout. Let's see if Thailand can respond, as they did with a couple of big hits off the back of the technical timeout not too long ago. And they do respond, this time with a big hit from the near side. Having done so from the far side off the previous timeout. in the block as they move the ball well on offense to create the opportunity. Incredible play to keep it alive on the near side. Keep it alive again, they can. Now maybe a chance to set the career to try and win the point. Thailand diving down on their knees as well. There's the tandem attack off the top of the block. They'll keep it alive on the baseline. Block is there. Defense down on the floor once more. And then they hit too long to end the marathon rally to the delight of these fans. The rally of the match so far. Ji Young Ho, who put a body on the line to save it and helped her team ultimately win the point. <laughs> the set to this near side, very close to the net, difficult to defend against, especially after it took it clip off the block. Korea actually had a player that might have tried to keep it alive but was trying to get out of the way of it. Not anticipating the touch off the initial block. And an ace for Thailand to follow up as well. They're not done and dusted just yet in the first set. They produced a seven point gap down to five. An ace from the captain, Tink out. Yo, 
Jin Jin hang time from this near side, taking off and finishing. Ji Yun Ho goes back out to Ji Kim, comes in. And uh, also in is Ho Young Jung, the number three. Five points for her, the second leading scorer in the match behind her teammate Pimpi Chaya. Seven. And that's what she can do. Yon Cohen Kim. Only four points in this first set, but every time she's taken off and attempted something like this, it's come off. technique, the way she spikes this. Quick release past the frontline defense. Backcourt explosion from the number 17, Jai Young Lee. Another young player with immense talent. The blocker gambled and led the wrong way. Seven set points for Korea. They tie their largest lead of the set. They've scored the last three in a row. Seven saved by the Pimpi Chaya Cochran. Seven points for her now to lead all scorers. And that will do it. To the delight of those travelling Korean fans. Their team take the first set, and they do so fairly comfortably in the end by 25 points to 18 after a difficult start, which saw them concede the first three points of the match. And they came out on top with a varied offense, splitting their points around. Nobody had more than five. And it sees them win the set 25-18.
Welcome back to Kobe, where Korea have taken the first set of this one, 25-18. 18 of their 25 points coming from attack. It's very impressive in that regard. One block to zero as well. They didn't score a point on their serve, but they also had five extra points off opposition errors. And I mentioned before the highlights as well, a varied offense. The top two scorers on the leading scorer chart in Thai colors, but the next five down coming on the Korean roster. They had five players between three and five points. She was one of them. Yong Kun Kim, the captain with four. And you just get the feeling that if they want to get her involved even more, she could score a bucket load here in this one. Tremendous technique and looks to be really on top of her game. There's the other captain, Pleum Jit Tinkao of Thailand. Trying to rally the troops, knowing that they could really do with winning this second set now. Tap down Nuek Jang. Will start on serve in set two. Korea winning the first 25-18. Scored the first point of the second set. They scored the first three of the first and ended up losing it by seven. That will be on the reach of Jung Gap. All the way through the Korean serve reception team. So Thailand win the first two points of this set as well. From Tat down to Jan. Three aces now for Thailand, zero for Korea. defense on both sides of the floor and then swiped out of bounds with no touch or there was a touch along the way it was very very close but it's Korea who get the point and the point they needed just to get them on the board in set two Thailand up by two again. Now Pingyu Pong, who didn't play much at all in set one, and to make a difference in set two. There's the set across to her again, this time she stopped in the backcourt. She'll try from the near side and get stopped again. They've been so quick to get to the loose balls today, Tyler. That one will just about drop off the top of the block. John Gap Park. Far from the biggest team, Thailand, but they get around the court so quickly and make life difficult for you. of good fortune as it slices off the top of the net. Korea level at 3-3. Three, three.
Oh, very close to the baseline. Just beyond it, though. Well left by the defence. Thailand ahead, 4-3. A big towering hit, high above the net. John Gapong. She's had a couple of those in this set already. A body shot unleashed by Jai Yung Lee. 21 year old up to six points and the leading scorer for Korea. <laughs> From the far side that time, another. Just like the first set, it's taken Korea a while to settle. Now they seem to be coming into their own. The latest by the number 14, Haiyo Jin. Again, the ties covering every inch of the court. Even touching the ball that went out, but not able to direct it back across the net. Seemed capable of getting a hat to just about everything. Back to back points, though, for Hai Yo Jin. That is beautiful. Wonderful court awareness, and then the execution and excellence to pull it off from Nuk Sarah Tomko. So difficult for the defence when you have to watch all the attack hit options and then you have to watch the setter as well. So pulled in, but it looked to me like it was out in Korea. I think it was out. They are going to challenge this one. Korean coach Cha Hai Won giving the signal to the officials to have a look. My position is just towards the Thai side of centre court. Midway up the stand and I'm looking at him and thinking it's gone a couple of inches even beyond the baseline. The Korean players were a lot closer. Maybe not a couple of inches but it was out. So Korea, again, have burst away after a difficult start. They lead eight to five. The Korea are on a 7-2 run. Since Thailand went up 3-1 at the start of the set. Off the back of the technical timeout. Will there be a change of momentum? Or will Korea continue to speed away? Well, 
That's a start for Thailand. The picket from the far side across court. Another one for City Rep. Six points for her now. And then one off the serve as well. Back to back points, gets them back within one. Another race, the fourth of the match now. How about that? Three in a row. Off the back of the timeout. City Rat with a couple of them. Ties level as the Ties leading scorer. And they tie level. 8 8 now. from Hayo Jin Yang. They made a change of bringing So Young Lee onto the court. She will take the serve now and then replace Jai Young Lee. And they found a way through to Pimpi Jai and Cochran. Yonkwon Kim with that one for Korea. They tally up to six. Off the outside of the single blocker on the far side, it's 10-10, and neither team are able to win a point on their serve at the moment. Korea, Suji Kim. The third biggest spike reach on the Korean roster, 3 meters 35. again. Nine points for her. More than anybody else in the match. And when will we have a run? When will somebody be able to hold serve? Not there. Back to back serves into the net. And this exchange of points continues, level at 12 12. Could get very nervy towards the end of this set if it remains as tight and tense as this. off the blocker the exchange finally comes to an end as Thailand get themselves ahead
not for long though. Freela Juan Apinha Young. 13-13 as she serves into the net. Captain Tinkow. Korea up 14-13. A quick, low, short back set. Perfectly measured. Just a little too far in front of the covering defence. They haven't had to stretch as much for things over uh, the last 10 to 12 points or so. Thailand having been expending such an amount of energy before that, getting to every loose ball. Cross court by So Young Lee. And now it's Korea who turned the tide slightly, having trailed. They lead. Brilliantly dug out. They'll keep it alive. And again, a chance to set two, and a chance to score the point, and a chance that's taken by Hayo Jin. What tremendous defence, though, from Heiran Kim, the libero. This is the finish to the rally. The defence, perhaps, though, the most spectacular part. Korea reached the technical timeout with a two-point lead. Technical timeout themselves, letting the coach stand back, and uh, taking matters into their own hands. The number five, Hayo Kimi, very vocal, the 38 year old. They need 16 to 14. They're on a run to get there as well. They've scored the last three in a row. So, Rudnick quickly comes to an end. There was a fault on the Korean side of the floor. Brooke is really well positioned. A chance to hit and to hit with authority. For an honor of City Rep. Up to nine points. Driven through the defense and through the legs of Yon Kao. We are going to have a timeout now. I think the Korean coach will get more vocal this time. Korea, we're leading 16-14 when the head coach Cha Hai Won 
allowed his players to do most of the talking in the technical timeout. They've lost back-to-back -back points since then. Thailand the back level 16-16 and he was far more vocal that time around. And there's the reaction on the far side from Hai Yo Jin. Dug out by Hei Ram Kim, just couldn't get underneath the ball enough to elevate it back up to a teammate. Power too much in the end. Just couldn't get under the ball. So much power from Yong Ko Kuk. Back ahead, but only just. 18-17 now in set two, with Korea having won the first 25-18. Level at 18 again now, off that stray serve. And this second set so vital now, as it reaches its final stretch. If Korea win it and go up by two sets to love, it will be incredibly difficult for Thailand to win three sets in a row. Thailand can go on and win it and tie level. And it's back to being a level playing field. So the second set is so important in the previous six World Championship matches that Thailand have won the first set. The winner of that first set has gone on to win the match. Oh, of course, the team who've won the first set here. doing just about enough that time to deflect it back over the net. Did that time in the backcourt. No reload and shoot again, but fired too long. And that defensive brilliance from Korea enough to win them the point at such a vital stage of a vital set. Disappointment for him. They couldn't have expected that spike to be stopped. for Thailand, well formed. They saw the pass from Hei Ran Kim hang in the air. They shuffled across. And the stop from Tin Kao to deny Juong Gap. Beautiful. The trajectory of the shot to evade the three blockers. And to drop in behind in front of the covering backcourt defense. Korea 21, Thailand 20. First to 25. Now she doesn't miss those. One of our city rounds. It's been a big performance from the number six. And she joins her teammate, 
Impichaya Cochran in double figures. The two leading scorers in the match. 21-21. Tinkar's serve. They can't field it. Thailand take the lead with only three points needed to get back level. They've been far superior in terms of serving those aces. We are going to have a Korean timeout. Well, there's every chance now for those travelling Thai fans are going to be celebrating the second set win. Their team three points away. It's been tight. It's been tense. There's been plenty of turnarounds. Can Korea produce another? They've got that level. Off the hit from So Young Lee. 22-22. We're going to have a change here with a couple of Koreans going out. Tin Kao. I beg your pardon. Hai Yo Lee and Jung Ga. Ho Young and Na Yong in the game. One just squeezed inside of the block. A big point for Malikar Kanton. He's not played much. If they win this point on serve, they've got two set points, Thailand. Three out to help it over. There's the set to the far side to finish it. There's a fault on the play. There's a point for Thailand. There's a set potentially for Thailand. A chance to make it 1-1. Two chances to make it 1-1. There is going to be a challenge, though, from Korea. The challenge coming from Cha Hai Won. On the Korean bench, his team faced the prospect of having to save two set points. Unless, well, there is a touch on the net from Hai Yo Jin. The call on the court stands. Thailand with two chances to try and get level. Malikar Kantong on serve. Somehow dug out from underneath the net almost. Big chance to set for Thailand though. Off the block. Another chance to the far side City like again. Got it. The ties have takeoff at the World Championships. They've dug deep, they've responded after losing the first set and they've taken the second. Delight for the majority of the fans at the Kobe Green Arena. Beaten by seven and fairly comfortably in the end in the first set after Korea really took charge after a strong start from Thailand early on, but boy did they recover to win set two, very strong themselves. A 25-22 second set win. Thailand back level then. Here in Kobe, one set apiece now with Korea. 
And just look at the atmosphere that their fans are creating at the Kobe Green Arena. It's the best atmosphere of the three matches so far on this court today. Earlier we had straight sets wins for Russia over Trinidad and Tobago and for the USA in the defense of their title over Azerbaijan. And this is the first time then that we will be going to four sets at least. Of course, the win is all important for these two, but if you can win 3-1, that is the aim, because you get an extra point. Three points for a 3-0 or 3-1 win. Only two points for a 3-2 win. Korea need to try and get back on track now. They look by far the stronger team in set one, but Thailand made their adjustments. And they kept up their energy. They look more solid on defense as nimble and quick and as athletic as they were in set one. They didn't need to get around the court as much in set two. Rather than scrambling around on defense, they gave Korea much more to think about with the way they set the play on offense. First point of set three as well. Yong Korn Kim, the Korean captain, their joint leading scorer with eight points. Looking a little downhearted. That's the way to pick you south back up. The back set from Hayoki. <laughs> Two in a row for Korea. This time from Jong Gap Park. Again, the back set from Hayoki. Very much aware of where all of her hitters were coming from. They fake the front court attack and went to the back court. Thailand that time and it paid dividends. Level at 2 2. Arriving from the back court was Pimpichaya Kokram. 13 points as the game's leading scorer now. Set right at the net for the quick hit from Suji Kim. She goes to serve now, the number 11. Having got Korea ahead. Serves a good couple of feet beyond the baseline. Too hot to handle for a Pinya Pong. The block not penetrating there, not enough that time for Korea. There was a gap inside. And a gap that City Rap took full advantage of. It's a right, Tom Com to serve. That's a rare error from City Rap. 
straight into the net. Korea back ahead. Maybe just got caught in two minds, but still great to see she's got a big smile on her face. Cochran again. 14 points now for the number 16. Stop that from Payward. Another on the other side of the floor as well. The backcourt attack and too much on it. It's a tie point. It's a tie lead as well. And they owe a great deal of thanks to Supatra Payroy, their Libero. Big long serve from City Rack. She takes it on from well behind the baseline, and it went well beyond the other baseline. <laughs> well, somehow they've kept it alive. And they win the point as well. I don't know how the Thai defense got to that initial strike. Four touches caught on Korea. That's the fault, but just before that, there was an incredible piece of defense. away to take off in the third set for Yuan Ko Wong. She struggled to get going after a really promising start to this match. Forced over. The sheer will of Apinyapong. And it's Thailand who reached the technical timeout with a slender lead by eight points to seven. She really had to stretch to get there, but got it to land. Again, the players very vocal in the Korean timeout. The captain, Yong Koon Kim, trying to rally the troops. One of our city rat doing the same in the Thai timeout. Thirteenth, their previous best finish in the World Championships. Achieved on their competition debut in 98 and again in 2010. They were close to qualifying for Leo 2016, the Olympics, but just missed out. They're still waiting to qualify for their first Olympic Games. They've been more than an equal match for Korea, although nobody on their very nippy defence could get even to that one. Accepted on opening day to give Thailand the lead. Liam Jit Tinkao 
and Thailand lead 9-8. Over the top of the net goes Suji Kip. We're level again. It was an incredibly close second set for the vast majority before Thailand pulled away to win it by three late. It's a very even third set as well. Thailand back ahead by one. Such a difficult skill in this sport, the serve. It's a, in stark contrast to tennis, where the serve is an advantage, very much a disadvantage in volleyball. <laughs> yes, a very special server. That time the serve reception was shanked. And Thailand were able to pick up the pieces with Nuek Chang at the net. First time in a while we've had back to back points and Thailand have a two point lead. Pipe attacks on both sides of the floor. It's Yong Kung Kim who lands hers. at the door, slammed in her face twice now. And a miscommunication in the last career to get on top of the rally. They can't make it count though. Speak about slamming the door in the face of your opponents. Korea threatened a couple of blocks. Thailand got one. Nuek Jang, the number four. A wayward hit from Jung Gap Park. Thailand lead 12 to 11. You get the feeling this pivotal third set could very well go right down to the wire again. That one finds a way through from Hai Yo Jin. for Korea to be taken by Jai Young Lee, the 21-year-old. He's got the remarkable haul of 97 international caps ahead of this tournament. That's an absolute rocket to knock her down to the deck. Pimpi Jaya Cockram with a cracker. She rarely misses Yong Ko and Kim when she gets the opportunity to arrive and attack the ball. We just wonder if her teammates could facilitate her a little bit more often. She is steadily building up a big tally. It's 12 points now. 11 of those have come from spikes. Goes again, dug out in the backcourt by the Libero. Third time lucky, perhaps. Somehow, once more saved. They're all over the floor, Thailand trying to get there. Fourth time lucky. Yong Ko and Kim. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Thailand equal to everything that came before that final blow. Couldn't quite get to that one, but they were so close. 
A big point right on the midway point of the midway set. Clear up the chance to set. Blew it. Thailand to try and take advantage. And they do. With Nuek Jack tying this level again. 14-14. Shots attack off the three meter line. They stand firm though, Thailand, and they get the point. Really digging their heels in on defense. Pimpi Chaya Kogram with the finishing touch in the rally again. Time out. The Korean coach Cha Hai Won calling a timeout with Thailand only one point away from giving us a technical timeout here, so absolutely desperate to say something to get a message across to his team. Let's see if they respond ahead of the technical timeout to try and get level. Wow, what a big block to deny the Korean leading scorer and captain. Maybe the message from the coach was get Yong Kawung involved more. Maybe Thailand read that. They got two blockers across to her. And landed the point for a 16-14 lead. She had four attempts to get a point to finally stick not too long ago. The Korean number 10 that time, one chance, one chance denied. Point for Thailand. And Thailand with a two point lead, 16 to 14. And this, of course, the pivotal third set. Whoever loses it is faced with the challenge of having to win two in a row. Captain's touch, forcing the defense to scramble. They can set properly now, Korea. To this near side this time, they mix it up and go to Suji Kim. And she gets a better result. A point that his team really needed. He just felt like it was getting away from them. One-on-one -on -one block after the spike on the previous point from Suji Kim. This time the monster block. One-on-one. -on -one. Back to back points for Korea. Back level. Kept it out in the back court. Just had to be hacked over, no chance to set. There is a chance for Thailand to do so, but it went all the way through without a touch from Pimpi Chaya Kokrao. So three in a row for Korea to lead 17-16. They are going to challenge this, though. They were celebrating. 
as if they were sure it got a touch off one of the blockers. The officials have said no touch, the ball was certainly out. So we're looking at a challenge for a block touch. There is a touch. The eagle-eyed official, who's been so good at catching just about everything, not able to see that touch off the fingernail. Thailand get the score, they lead 17-16. Ball attack and straight into the net from City Rep. Seventeen, seventeen. Then put off by the presence of the blockers, she tried to adjust and failed in doing so. Change here being made. Double change for Thailand. Hornpoon, Gade Pard, the number three. One of those coming in as to Milikar. Canton, the number 15. The set from the new setter to the far side. The attack shut down, though. Korea take the edge off the big block from the number 17, Jai Young Lee. The timeout called by Thailand, trailing by one. Whoever loses this third set knows they've at least conceded a point already because even if they come back to win 3 2, they can only pick up two points for a win. Whoever wins it knows they've at least earned a point. One point for a 3-2 defeat. It's Thailand to a back level at 18-18 off the hit from Malika. Pinyu Pong serve. Did that one get a touch on its way through? They're saying it did Korea, the officials saying it didn't. Korea not happy, and we are going to have a challenge. Again, it's whether there was a block touch or not, the ball was certainly long beyond the baseline. But who got the final touch? The last one was overturned. Where will this one be? Looks like another very tight one. No touch that time. That one was called right. The referees have been right with just about everything so far. Thailand lead 19-18. touch taking it beyond the front line defense and out of the reach of the downed captain Yong Ko -un. Thailand by two really good stop from that spike here stretching every fiber of her fingertips to get there was the number six city rep and doing just about enough as Korea called timeout Thailand 
Both coaches, understandably, very animated at this stage. This is money time now, deep in the third set, with the match tied at 1 1. The blockers there for Thailand in position to extend their lead to three. They started to pull away late in the second set. They're doing the same here in the third set. And the offense was far too easily read that time. Court set, stopped in the backcourt. Down the line and in. From Jai Young Lee, career pull one back. Thailand only four points away though from taking a 2 1 lead. In comes Ji Young Oh to serve. Set is a good one, it's fired right into the body of the substitute. And then fired right into the net by Korea. What a big hit from City Rack it was on the far side. Korea just didn't recover. And then Yong Ko Wong, who was uh, errorless early on, has now started to become error prone. Above the net from Nguyen Jack. Thailand within two. 23 19 now here in the third. Liam Jit Tinkau on serve. What can the captain do? Oh, a gift accepted high above the net by Nguyen Jack. Korea cut apart. Thailand terrific. Five set points now. Career of being rocked and rattled. It's been a terrific Thailand turnaround. There you go. Again, it's Nuuk Jang above the net, this time to touch it down. Korea really struggling in the back end of that third set. Thailand very much with the wind in their sails. They've turned this match on its head after losing the first set by seven. They won the second by three. They win the third by six. 25-19. Thailand lead by two sets to one.
Welcome back to the Kobe Green Arena, where Thailand have just taken the third set, 25-19, to take a 2-1 lead. Two more points off attack hits in that last set, two more on block, and two more from opposition errors as well. It really looked as though Korea were going to pick up the win, the way they strolled to success in set one. But uh, Thailand have found a way to deal with their particular threats and to come back strong themselves. Back-to-back -back sets now. And very strong indeed down the stretch of that third set. And whenever it's been close, towards the end of a set, in set two and in set three, Korea looked to have uh, struggled to deal with the pressure. In that situation, Thailand have thrived. And now, they're in a situation from which they can try and win this set to win the match and take all three points. Korea now in a must-win set, trying to force a fifth. the start of every set as well, Thailand. And they've scored the first points in all four. That's a huge attempt from the backcourt, but it goes too long. John Gao arriving onto it, getting so much power but at the expense of the precision. Really well left by the defense, actually, Nuek Jack, the number four who pulled her hands away from it. Yeah. Yeah, so from deep, didn't quite find the sideline. Just one ace all match long over the three sets. Thailand have had five. <laughs> Miscalculation between setter and hitter. Got Thailand on top, but they'll reset again, Korea, and fire all the way through. Jong Ga Park. She makes amends for her previous attack kit, which was beyond the baseline. Brilliant from Pimpy Chaya Cochran. She was their big scorer early on, and then Allowed her teammates to get a bit more involved in set three. She fires early on in set four and now has 17 points to lead all scorers. That's another one for John Gappa. She's got two of Korea's three. Up to 12 points. And second leading scorer for Korea. Just at the net, Korea strong, Thailand, the chance to set them, push back over, back to on that final touch, here she comes again, no way through this time for the number 13. They try from the opposite side, and the block is there as well. And on the near side, they're getting across the front of the net so quickly, kept alive off their attack in as well, and out of bounds off the block. Boy, did they put so much into that, Thailand. They're not getting any just reward. The blockers were equal to everything, just couldn't direct that one.
fault there on the tie side of the net, I think. Yes, career point. So Korea in a must-win set, lead by five points to three. off on the three meter line to finish flying through the air Pimpi Chaya Cochram adds to her tally 18 now one form in this set there was John Gap Park Off the tandem attack, the set from the centre out to this near side. John Gap Park scores again. She's been lethal from the front left position. City that firing through the first two lines of defence, stopped though by the last. And then down on the near side from the captain, Tinker. One was unstoppable. <laughs> Thailand playing a bit of football, getting it back over. Saved on the baseline as well for Korea. Now can Thailand get on top in the rally? On the far side, no touch. A hopeful look around at the official from City Rack. And it's Korea who have the lead in this fourth set, heading into the technical timeout. That was a delightful game of keepy ups. So Thailand put in their place having been so strong in the second and third sets. Korea have won eight of the first 12 points of the fourth. And they've been laid down the challenge by Thailand who've performed so admirably so far. Korea rising to that challenge right now. Such a quick snapshot from Pleungit Tinkau. The ball set to just above the net. She got it away so quickly before the block had a chance to form. Perfect placement on this set, allowing that opportunity. And they'll get another ace on serve as well. They've halved the deficit down to two. Ace number six of the match for Thailand. The captain taking on the responsibility of sparking the comeback. On a continental level, these two are both two-time Asian champions. Career in 2014 and 1994. 
and uh, Thailand in 2013 and 2009. Thailand also lost last year's Asian Championships final 3-2 to Japan. Korea have managed seven silvers in that competition. Found the sideline on the near side. Korea tried to get out of the way of it. Thailand back within two. <laughs> Just about able to find a way through. And restore the three-point lead was Haiyo Jingyang. The back set from Hayohi. <laughs> Off the fingertips of the blockers and down and in in the backcourt from Yong Kuang Kim. Leading the way for Korea with 15 now. We're going to have a timeout. Let's look at the stat line for the number 10. Seventeen points in fact now. Of seventeen spikes for Pimpy Chaya to lead the way. Well, she is again, but stop this time. Can't find a way through the Korean War. The game's leading scorer stopped by Suji Kim. <laughs> so floats long. It takes Thailand to within four. We are still in a really good position as we move towards the midway point of set four. Well, both of Korea's big hitters throwing everything at Thailand. First, Yong Gap Park was denied, and then it came back for Yong Ko Ong. She was able to fire past two in the front court and two in the back court. Korea by five. That's the number five to serve, Haiyo Healy. And to set to the near side. Yong Kung's tip returned by Thailand. Set towards the number 10 again, this time she adjusts and forces it down the line for the point. Korea really putting themselves in the driver's seat in this must-win fourth set. They lead it by six. And we're going to have another tie timeout. Coach Danai Sri Wachimai tackle trying to motivate his team. Can 
Thailand respond. the pretty emphatic answer delivered by Yong Koon Kim. Career by seven, 15 to eight. She's now level as the top scorer in the match. She's quickly caught up Pimpi Chaya Kokram. The Korean block is there again as well. They are rampant here in the fourth racing into the technical timeout with a 16-8 lead. Smiles all round. Yong Kowong doing it on offense and defense. A game high, 19 points now for the number 10. They really have responded to the challenge here in set four, Korea. They're looking like the team that raced away towards the end of the first. Really sunk in their performance in the second and third. Give Thailand plenty of credit as well. They raised their game. And they're going to have to do so again here as they make a change. In comes the number three, Porn Poo Gaypard. Yoki Lee remains on serve for Korea, who lead by eight as they look to send this to five sets. Drill from the far side by Tom Kong. They could do with a few more of those. Side from So Young Lee. Stopped by the defense over the top of the net. On her way down was Pimpi Chaya Cochran, but she kept her hand up long enough. Two in a row for Thailand. A run that doesn't gather much momentum. Emphatically shut down by Yong Ko and Kim. Barring something remarkable now, down the stretch of this fourth set, it does look as though Korea are going to take it to a first to 15 fifth set. That one popped back over the net, and decided to jump back again the other side. It gave the Korean defense plenty of time to adjust. Final touch off the number 11, the left hand of Suji Kim. Dealt with well. So too the one from John Gap Park. Thailand to come back strong. Very strong. Had to be helped over by Yon Cohen. Back set again to the near side. Finding the gaps. 
And picking apart the seams was Pimpy Chaya Kokra. She's seen Jung go on the race away from her as the game's leading scorer, having been some way ahead herself. Well, that one gets her back level. 20 points each, those two players. This time she has to just help it over. Korea to set. A cross court all the way into the back corner from John Gapart. The defense ducked. The defense was made to pay. It's a bad decision to get out of the way of this one from the Libero. Here comes Ji Young Oh. And that will go Su Ji Kim for Korea. One on one attack kick for Pimpy Chaya Cochran. So much power that the block couldn't penetrate the net quick enough. She now has 21. She's back ahead as the leading scorer in the match. 21 points for the 20 year old. Incredibly impressive on her world championship debut. Tyler making a change as well. Tink out the captain going off. And Shooter Porn Kamlan Mack coming on. Now serve too long, takes Korea to the 20 point mark with an eight point lead, only five points away from tying this match at 2 2. the second ace of the whole match for Korea. When it's going your way, it's going your way. They're getting points from everywhere right now. Just one ace up until that point. Thailand had had six. Two blockers sewn together, shoulder to shoulder, penetrating and punishing. Very little room to aim for. The right hand of Hai Yo Jin in the end doing the damage. Again, on the far side, the same two players, two in a row. It's cruise control career. They're up by 11 here in the fourth. Again, it was the left hand of the number 14, Hayojin. set points it's looked for a long time now like we're going to a fifth and that is now just about inevitable that one floats beyond the baseline so the first of what was 12 set points saved Thailand in need of a miracle they want to win this with maximum points. That one will do it. Hai Yo Jin finishing the set for Korea. As they tie the match at 2-2. She had a big hand in that burst away at the finish. The most dominant scoreline of any of the four sets. Korea lost sets two and three, having won the first, they needed to respond in the fourth. And boy, was that a retaliation 
of the very highest order to win it 25 to 13. And we now head to a first to 15, fifth and decisive set. Five thirteen, impressively in the fourth set to Korea, a fourth set that they knew they had to win, and they did so in style by 12 points, 14 to seven on attack hits, five to one on blocks, so good defensively, one each on serve, and one more point from opposition errors as well for the Koreans. Both sides know that they will pick up at least a point now from this opening match, out of the five matches that they play in the first stage. This first to 15, fifth set now is to decide who gets the extra point. Two points for a 3-2 win, one point for a 2-3 defeat. Russia in the United States earlier on this court picked up maximum points with straight sets wins over Trinidad and Tobago and Azerbaijan respectively. Missed the first match day that all of the teams in this group will play on out of five match days in the next six days so it's a long run plenty of action and these two have to go all the way on day one which may have an impact later on in terms of fatigue they should be fresh fit and firing though right now the first blow of the decisive set of course first to 15 instead of first to 25 each and every point has some added weight to it that serve far too long from City Rank 1-1 to make amends for City Rank after that long serve. The explosion on the three metre line from the backcourt, beating the two blockers and the backcourt defence. for the block to deal with. 2-2 two, two on sets, 2-2 two, two on points in the fifth. Change for Korea, see Su Ji Kim going out. And on serve is Ji Young Ho. Cochrane continues to impress. Absolutely remarkable tally now for the 20-year-old on her World Championships debut. 24 points. side as well Thailand open up the first little bit of breathing room of set five four to the lead the stretching finish from a pin pong the block couldn't stretch enough to keep it alive and that one will fly all the way through for another five two
have been dominant on serve. Seven to two now in terms of aces through the match. A timeout called by Korea. Well, she's been their standout star, the number 16 on serve for Thailand. 25 points now it is. Looking to add to that tally, it's a good serve. Well, set to the far side, it's a very good block. They try to shift the defence by moving the ball across court with a tandem attack, but they read the offence well, the two blockers. Again, it's in a pressured situation where Korea seem to have come unstuck. They did respond in set four, but deep in the second set when it was close, deep in the third set when it was close, and now here. And the pressure filled fifth. They struggle. That will happen. Right a few wrongs as John Gap Park nails one. player who's fast approaching the 20-point mark, 17 now. <laughs> Off the side of the block that time from Pyongyang Tinkau. Really good serve reception, straight to the net, allowing the set from the centre out to the wing. The number 10, she had one stop there. Reloading on the far side, trying to score again. The city rack. Yun Cohen tries once more and gets stopped. Thailand had to help it over. Korea to try and set right on top of the net. Really good pass, decent set. Not a good hit though. Thailand lead by four as we hit the change of ends. 8-4 for Thailand. Who once again have shown their character and their resilience. They recovered from a really disappointing first set to win two in a row. They were knocked back by a huge career performance in the fourth. But they've got back on track here in the fifth. to try and continue to work. And does so, landing the serve right back onto the baseline. It's their eighth ace of the match. A timeout called by Korea. Well, 
All five of Thailand's matches at the 2014 World Championships were decided in straight sets. They won one of them against Mexico. They lost the other four. Their fans deserve this riveting roller coaster ride. Are they going to come out on top? Not if Yong Ko Ong has anything to say about it. Korea get one back. Off the cross court set from Hai Yo Hee. They close the gap to four. Attempt from Yuan Koa. The captain and top scorer stepping up when she needs to with Korea down in a hole. Trying to claw them out. She fires between the seam of the double block and beyond the backcourt defense. Really feeling it. The Korean captain. Thailand desperate to cause what would be somewhat of an upset win in the opening game. Korea desperate to return to the World Championships in winning ways after missing out on the 2014 competition. They're back within three here in the fifth set. The blockers are well placed. Thailand can go again. The blockers are there again. No way through. And Korea now with the team digging deep and trying to take this one all the way. It's new territory for them as well. They win all four of their matches in qualifying for this tournament in straight sets. A position that they're used to. They're going to have to continue to try and come back because they trail by three again. 10-7 Thailand who are five points away from a 3-2 win. for her now. She's still not the leading scorer in the game. 25 for Pimpi Chaya Gokra. Well, that is a powerful exchange of points. One big spike from one side. A retaliation from the other. Nguyen Jack restoring Thailand's three-point advantage. Korea need to put together a run sooner rather than later. The attack almost right on top of the net, blocked. This time blocked in the backcourt. City Rack stopped as well. It's squeezed down the line by So Young Lee. Korea within two. Thailand though just four points away. Little to no room for error for the Koreans right now. They need to win back to back points pretty quickly. Can they get one on their serve? the block fielded in the backcourt from the opposite side this time came so you need the number 12 kept alive on the baseline the 
Cross court, saved again in the backcourt. A miscued shot though. They've got a touch along the way. Thailand lead 12-9. They are getting closer and closer, point by point, step by step, a big touch off the left hand of the blocker. Korea now need to double Thailand's tally at least for the remainder. Thailand three points away, Korea three points behind. That one found a way through for Juan Gap Park. They've got to score one on their serve though, that's the challenge. It's been far easier on the tie serve. Can they hold their own? No, they can't. Lurunjit Tinkan taking Thailand to within two. They're taking the win here. And on the opening day. There's a fault here. Which way is it going to go? It's a tie point. And it's one that means they have four match points. Thai fans on their feet in Kobe. They are within touching distance of a World Championships win. Something they only did once four years ago. The first of four match points saved. So, Yun Lee keeping Korea in it for now. And it's a huge win for Thailand. On the opening night of the World Championships. They had to do it the hard way, coming from behind, losing the first set, then having to steady themselves and recover after a battering and a bruising in set four when Korea forced the fifth. They were so impressive, though, in sets two, three and five. Korea's return to the competition after missing out last time ends with defeat. Thailand, who've been really impressive in recent years, are making their fifth appearance in the competition in the last seven editions. They've now already got it.